Howard Community College battles Montgomery College. Derek Watte anchors our coverage. Thanks, Diane. Howard enters the game ranked six in the national poll and eager to avenge last year's devastating playoff loss to Montgomery. Coach Dragunov has his Dragons off to their best start since 2009. Soccer analyst David Owasom will be with us for this Region 20 matchup. David, what's going to be the key for Howard? Well, Derek, Coach Dragunov is known as a possession type of coach, so it will be crucial that Howard retains possession throughout the game so they can control the tempo of the game. They're also going to want to pick their spots when they can isolate their speedy forwards up top just to stretch the back line of Montgomery. After dominating Region 20 of the last three seasons, Montgomery College is off to one of its worst starts in program history. MC enters the game with an 0-3 record. You have to go back to 2002 just to find the last time MC was winless in their first two matches. The departure of head coach Pedro Braz could have something to do with the 0-3 record. Braz is now the head coach at Gallaudet University after leading MC to a Region 23 peat. David, how can the defending champions get win number one against Howard? I feel as though Montgomery is going to need to come in with a very organized back line just to deal with all the speed that Howard has up top with their forwards. And as far as attacking wise, Montgomery is going to need to isolate their very speedy wide players so that they can take on the Howard defenders and create chances. Howard and MC renew their rivalry. Let's go to the Dragons lair. First half, Howard switching the field. Walter Gonzalez, Emmanuel Wright, two touches. Alex Smith calls for the ball, smothered by Ruffin Mapuku. Excellent through ball by Emmanuel Wright, which comes about because of the movement off the ball. Montgomery's keeper takes an excellent angle to close down the shooting opportunity for Howard. Alfred Kamal set to take the corner for MC. And away by Jonathan Horrocks. Smith beating out Ryan Thron. The counter is on. Smith wins the ball and goes to right. In one touch, he springs the breakaway. Wright runs free into the area. Mapuku comes out. Wright's gone past him. Emmanuel Wright. Howard takes the lead. Wright has now scored two goals in three games against Montgomery College. Tremendous driving run and cross-field ball by Smith allows Wright to isolate himself from defender and take a tremendous first touch to leave the defender in his dust, which gets him in a 1v1 situation with the keeper, and he finishes it as cool as possible. Here, Khalil Badaway distributes an excellent ball to Joel Alexis. The movement of Alexis gives Badaway a deep line option. Badaway's playing off the inside shoulder of the defender, that's good positioning. He should always be on the same side of the ball. Alexis plays the ball back to Jonathan Barron, unable to test the keeper. Eric Gonzalez with the goal kick. Barron can't keep it under control, gives it right to Neo Goost Andino, picks out the run of right. Mapuku comes out to challenge, and once again, right wins the battle. Elmer Ramos saves the day for Montgomery College. The ball was goal bound. Nearing halftime, MC is starting to do a better job of possessing the ball. Manuel Arvalo, Kamal, Alexis, Kamal again, one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Gonzalez with a diving stop, excellent reaction. On to the second half, Christopher Rolon and Jason Mitchell working along the far touch line. Mitchell for Howard, pass is broken up. Gustandino regains it for Howard. Sends it in the direction of Wright. Open net, Emmanuel Wright. Martin Marino flies in and saves another would-be goal. Excellent positioning again by Wright, who's playing off the defender's shoulder. That allows him to get in behind the defenders. Crucial recovery run by the defender to get back and position himself on the goal line to protect his keeper. 15 minutes remaining, Arash Kamali up against Sam Rivera, dispossessed by Rivera, but Jason Davila wins it back for MC. Excellent switch of play by Montgomery's midfielder, which allows him to isolate himself against the Howard defender and take him on 1v1. Roland panicked a little bit and dived when he didn't need to. The penalty kick is awarded to Montgomery College. Raptors have a chance to tie it up from a penalty spot. Brian reyes Aranda, the penalty taker, up against Gonzalez, the converted midfielder, playing goalkeeper. We're level. Cool, calm, collected finish by reyes Aranda, who sent the keeper the wrong way with a slight lean of his body and slots it in the corner. 
Overtime now, Kevin Munoz in possession for MC, sees the run of Reyes Aranda and it plays it to him. Reyes Aranda, vital defensive play from Jonathan Horrocks. Set piece for the Raptors, dangerous ball into the box. What a save by Gonzalez, he preserves the draw. 1-1 is your final, let's send it down to Amin Hosseini. So what was the importance of this particular game? I think it could have been a turning point in our season and unfortunately ended in a 1-1 with the unfortunate call in the box. So it's the way the world goes. You guys uh, were victimized of a penalty in the second half. You slipped away there. Was there anything that you could have done differently to prevent that? Uh, I thought we shouldn't have given away the penalty because we had men back to cover. It's just unfortunate we gave him the opportunity to uh, go down and get the call. But I think to, do, to keep the momentum going, we, we need to get together in the midfield more. That's where they're really beating us. Yeah, I also noticed that Coach Dragunov was uh, yelling a few pointers at the team. Could you uh, give us a few spoilers? Emmanuel, uh, what do you think, what was he saying? Uh, he was just uh, telling us to like, keep compact and like, uh, come forward stuff for it so that uh, the offensive player can be offside and uh, keep the ball and keep possession, spread it around. Yeah. So Emmanuel, with that, with that awesome goal you scored in the first half, what did that do for your confidence? Uh, it definitely improved my confidence, but it doesn't mean nothing right now because we didn't win. So I had a couple of chances I didn't go in. So it's a bittersweet moment, so I'll take whatever I got. So Jonathan, uh, what did you learn from this game so that in the future when you play against Montgomery in the playoffs? Well, I think this game really gave the team confidence because they saw that we can compete against uh, the best teams out there. I think some, some players on the team came out and they weren't really ready. They weren't uh, focused enough, maybe a bit scared of playing a, in a big game like this. But I think this will really help us to be ready for next time. And we definitely, definitely want to beat them. So Tyler, our question for you is what did you learn about your team from this game? Learned that uh, we win together, we lose together. All, all the family here. So got to stick through it. This is Dragon's Let Update. I'm Umid Hosseini.